goal is great. Not like Nigerian zone, we are going to be beating you up for every little thing. They don't touch you. It's our zone just writing notes. No breaks, you have to play. No nothing. I prefer schooling. Hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I can never get used to light switches. I can never get used to knowing which of the switch belongs to which lights. It is a beautiful morning here, and my kids are going to school officially for the first time. So we had been to the school earlier, where we did their registration, school tour, first day at school and all of that. But today will be the first day that they'll be going to school like officially and taking the school bus. So reality check, comparing my life to how it was in Nigeria. When I was in Nigeria, of course, I'm not the one that does the whole school early morning prep. My goal is to get the children ready for school. And I just come down and dish their meals because I like to dish it by myself to know what is in what. But over here, I have to do everything myself. I thank God for the gift of very hardworking children. So I don't even beat them or brush them or get them dressed. They wake up themselves, lay their beds, because this is the training I'm trying to give them. They wake up themselves, lay their beds, brush their teeth, bake themselves, cream themselves, comb their hair, arrange their rooms, then they come down and they make their own breakfast, which is a very big deal. So what I have to do is to whoop up their lunch, like the food they're going to eat in school. So this is first day, we are obviously not 100% prepared, we don't have any warmer yet, and um, even their backpacks are the ones that we came from Nigeria with. So I'm just going to whoop up a sandwich, bread and egg, not even sandwich. <laughs> Guys, I had earlier gone to purchase their snacks. I went to this big store called Costco where you can buy this kind of stuff in bulk. So what they do is they eat breakfast in the morning, then they pack a snack and they also pack a lunch. Okay, the lunch can be light. It doesn't even have to be rice or pasta. It can just be sandwich or something like that. So I got cakes, chocolate bars, I got juice. I got fruit snack and um, granola bars, Pringles, and so many stuff like that. We are headed for the bus stop. A very bright and beautiful sunny day. Yay! How do you feel? Great! Last <laughs> time I went to school, I was so happy. Why were you so happy? School is fun! Because it's cold! Hey, want to talk? Is eh, 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 eh. Hey, want to talk, but you can't talk. Eh, eh. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are headed to the bus stop to drop off the kids. If you ask us, we would have preferred the bus to be coming to the front of the house, just like Nigeria school bus. 
But no, this time you have to drive the kids to the bus stop where the bus will pick them. The boys are going to school. How do you feel, Naya? Naya? Naya. Bye bye. Me and my friends are waiting in line, sharing one last blue camo. Don't have any money, but we're going out. Yeah, we saved up every penny. I'm smiling at him in the blue shirt and the converse, but I'm thinking about you. Are you thinking about me too? Vodka so. box to me and my brothers and it has something we need very much to school so let's see what it is Ooh. the box says goal starts it's at the other side goal starts all right bring it here let me explain to the to them but well, how was school today tell me all about school i want to hear every single little detail okay school is great not like the Nigerian Zoom, they are going to be beating you up for every little thing. They don't say, give me a sticker, they don't touch you. Also, school is great, but and now we are going to have something we really need for school. Yeah, very important. Very, it's very called important. school supplies. Yeah, school supplies. So, let's see what it is. There are three recesses. Do you know what recesses mean? It's like going out to play outside for some time. It's also like giving your teacher a break and playing out. The teacher does other things while you go outside. So recess is really good. Why do you prefer Nigerian schools to this one? Okay, I prefer Nigerian schools because they teach strongly, really strong. I mean, they really make the, the students really understand. That's the top thing that the schools don't. They also try their best, but they don't teach. Why I prefer the young ones? Because they're kind, they don't beat the students too much, they don't even touch them. They're not so kind. The reason they sound so better, the teachers are kinder. Wait, I almost forgot to tell you that my my teacher's name is Mrs. Herbst. My younger brother's teacher's name is Mrs. Bush. Hey, Bush. Oh, hey. oh Forest Garden. Oh, should I get that? Bush. It's all right. Bush. Let's see what it is. Okay, so guys, basically, uh, these are school supplies and when your children just join the school they're going to give you a list of items that they require for the session or for the term all right so you can either choose to go to the store and buy them yourself or you can choose to order them online and they get delivered to the house or to the school anywhere i can delegate stuff really i don't mind paying some little extra so it's called school starts so we just ordered Sha and we just go here. Let me see. What do they have there? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so these are basically what he's going to be needing in the class. The whole pencil, crayons, and all of that. Sabiat. Crayons, stickers, and all that. She comes, so this is yours. Put all of them, put everything there. You're going to take them to school. She and Merem. He has so much more. These things were not cheap, oh. These things were not cheap. I've seen them like this. Okay. 
There's so much inside, yeah. Okay. You have a box. I think grade two is a very special class here. Well. Wow. Good and fine. I can't imagine me going to start picking all these things one after the other. Please, can't be me. Wow. I love school so much because yeah, do not take it too hard on children. But that's what made you strong now. In Nigeria, you are drilled, you are taught very well. It's not this one that even go and reach or start five times in one hour. They'll be babying you guys and pampering you guys. In Nigeria, they taught people how to be hard. That's why when Nigerians come over here to school, they do very well. Please, I like the Nigerian pattern. I know. All these pet PPP that I didn't see you guys here. I also love school because they give breaks. No, I've been learning from morning to night, like in Nigeria. Eight hours of dust writing notes. No breaks to go out to play. No nothing. I prefer school. A lot. Like a lot. Okay, what's the matter, teacher? Miss Fisher. Miss Fisher. Mm -hmm. The one is Fisher. This one is Bush. The other one is Hemp. Ew! 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 <laughs> what do you love the most about schooling in Nigeria? There has to be an advantage. Because I like school in Nigeria because. You don't have anything you prefer. No, I don't have anything I like chocolate or prefer. Hey, don't worry. But I do like my friends. You miss your friends in Nigeria. Yeah. What? Another difference is what? that in Nigeria, the principal no. tells the teachers what to no. teach the but Yeah. The teacher teaches the pupils what they are researched and everything and the teachers also <laughs> design the classes how they want it to be designed. If the kids do something wrong, how do they get punished? If the kids do something wrong, uh, I don't know. No kid have gotten punished. We're going to buy special bulala and hand over to each and every one of your teacher. Miss Hebs will have one bulala. Miss Bush will have one bulala. <laughs> In my class, if you do something wrong, you lose a sticker. And if you don't get enough stickers, you don't get a toy. Sticker? <laughs> Is this sticker that will pepper you where well, Uncle Buku? Uncle Buku! So guys, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That is the children's first day at school and boy oh boy, I am so glad that they are loving it here. They are integrating. Anyways, children integrate so fast. Children blend in so fast. So I don't have any doubts that they will blend in and they will do well. Um, it's good to get their feedback. It's good to hear their comparisons between the system they are used to in Nigeria and their new reality. Um, on that part of beating beating they're very right back in nigeria there have been some incidences where the teachers had to use some unnecessary force even when the student doesn't deserve it it's not like they even have a right to do that now but for the flimsiest reasons even make it more painful i know that there are times when we have to go to school to you know resolve such issues where the teachers use stuff to hit them and leave marks on their body so i can imagine their relief yes i was poking them to get more and more insight from them but deep down i can imagine how they feel coming from an environment where you know they're scared to voice out they're scared to be bold if you're bold you're seen as rude you're seen as you get spanked unnecessarily to a place where the environment is just you know warm and accommodating it feels good although i would not generally dismiss the nigerian schooling system i still like the discipline part i still like that the parts that you know that push the children to be their best to maximize their potential and all of that they both have their pros and cons but what's most important is that the kids love it here and they're doing fine so guys in another video not the next video i won't promise you the next video but in another video i'm going to tell you everything you need to bring to get admitted into the catholic school how the system works the whole processes and everything i'm going to just highlight everything to you and make you abreast of everything so for now let me go load these school supplies into the car so we do not forget it tomorrow because they have to leave and take it to school tomorrow my last son hasn't started school kindergarten starts next week a week after the regular grades begin so guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on your bell notifications give this video a big thumbs up and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way it's me your girl barista neze neze moi neze pepperente and this is neze pepperente i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye